It's like a tiny version of how real physicists come together and work to do research. Learning how to take data, how to critically analyse things, it's one of the most important skills as a physicist and Imperial College are training them very well in that aspect. When I started teaching in this lab, it was exactly the same lab that I'd done my degree in. So I'm very excited to see all of the changes that we've brought through to make it what I think is a much better place for doing modern physics experiments. It's a very high standard in here and really exciting. There's so much energy when the students are working in here, which is really great. decided to instigate the building of a new lab for our students now because it was long overdue. The, the lab had been the same for many, many years. I remember some alumni visited us and said, oh, I remember this lab and I thought it's time to make a change. It was really important that we did it because labs have moved on, equipment has moved on. When I was a student here, everything was quite old-fashioned. We had wooden benches, we had really old CRT oscilloscopes. They looked like big, bulky old televisions. And now you can see it's totally renovated and refurbished. Everything is very modern here. The equipment that the students are using is research-grade equipment. What we wanted to do was two things. One was improve all of the experiments and bring them up to more modern standards. And the second thing was we wanted to improve the space and actually make sure that it was a space where people could both enjoy doing physics lab again, but also a bit more flexible so they could do, for instance, larger experiments or work with more data. They've now got all of the tools they need and the ability to actually do that research. And that's, that is great to see. The students were very involved in the design of the lab. We thought that was very important because they're the people who are going to be using it. And so we involved them right from the start. We asked them to help us choose the colors, the tables, how the tables were going to be moved around. I think it's important they felt they were involved. Physics is very much a team sport, if you like. So most of the research we do is in small or large collaborations. The university's got a really, really good standing in the quality of research that it produces and it's interesting to learn about what all of the people who are teaching you are working on themselves because it just gives a new dimension to your learning. Learning those general skills has been very exciting to do and very empowering to being able to design your own project and actually just carry it out. Having the support to go and just do what interests you and that's really the science that I would like to get into in the future. After learning about so many abstract theories like we do, like relativity for example, that go completely against our intuition of what the world is like, I think that it definitely needs imagination and creativity to be able to produce those types of theories and to understand them, so I think that's why I like it so much. The quality of the facilities is fantastic here. Having the space on the bench and the telescope basically means that if you want to test something on a circuit, you just plug it in and you can actually record the data and then just transfer that to computer, so it makes data analysis so much quicker. I actually came here thinking I was going to be a theorist and I was really only interested in the maths and I didn't care about the labs, but having done the labs and had access to all of the equipment that we do um, and seen the process, I'm actually thinking I'd like to do something experimental now, so it's really impacted me. Imperial is a great place to study physics. One of the unique aspects we have is we're a very research intensive department and we involve our students in our research almost as soon as they arrive. So if you enjoy physics and you enjoy research, we're the place to come to.